Um, what do you guys think? Bitcoin, Bitcoin happening is everything waiting for that? We do we pump afterwards. What do you guys think? Just a couple minutes on that. Honestly, I, th I think it might already be a bit priced in personally. Yeah. But, what do you uh, mean? Yeah. Like, because the pump, the pump has come and like, I feel like actually we might dump after the halvening. It might just wreck everyone. Like not, not eternally, yeah. you know, but just a big retrace after the halvening personally. Yeah. The, the interesting thing about where price is at right now with Bitcoin is that uh, to mint one Bitcoin or to mine one Bitcoin right now, like um, for a miner costs on average, I think 63 or $64,000. And Bitcoin's been having a hell of a hard time dumping below that price. So I wonder what Wall Street is looking at, because I agree. I think uh, that early to mid-May, like late April, early mid-May, that like three week period there, that's going to probably be the best time to DCA, like the first half of May. And then counter trade Wall Street, right? Don't sell in May and go away. Buy in May, go away for a month, come back in august and then look at mad gains and then degen into whatever you want to take profits into and uh, make more money going into the fall you know but like i don't know wall street is kind of an interesting uh beast because back in i think it was i have to go look at the chart but maybe it was early this year or late last year I forget when but there was a point where like bitcoin should have been dumping but it just wasn't i'm just like yeah because wall street's buying so i think we might dump less than a lot of people think, but I think I agree we will have like a good dip buying opportunity. But this is the year, right? This is the year where price go up altcoins. We're gonna have a rally. Yeah, from June to well, June, July to uh sometime in Q4, I think. Okay. You're not canceled anymore. I like that. That was, that was a good bullish thing to go out on. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> I mean, I I'm, I'm I'm extremely bullish after like uh there's uh, I did a thing on liquidity cycles last Thursday or Wednesday, I think one of those two streams. Um, if people go back and watch that. Um, the other thing that's really bullish, a lot of people are talking about, oh, we might early top this cycle on Bitcoin because Wall Street's in it. We're getting too high, too fast and all this thing. But if you look at the liquidity cycle, which also matches the four year cycle, because uh, basically Bitcoin came out during the financial crisis, which happened to be a low point. Um, the liquidity cycle goes through uh, the second half of 2025, which would either lead to a, a extended bull market into 25 like everybody should expect with the four-year cycle or um what do you call it uh a double top cycle like 2013 where we top sometime late this year and then we go down everybody says it's over we buy back again we go up one more time uh and then glory 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 going into sometime between august and november of next year for for uh, the end of the market but that's just my theory i don't know i don't know nothing <laughs> uh, so some version of that comes true. We 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 like we don't like made too many poor people. Okay, there's too many poor people. Got it. Got to be rich or richer. Uh, I like I like those choices. Rich or richer. Let's let's do that. Right. Or Richard. Choose or richer. Richard. <laughs> Think about the word richer, richer. We, we now say glory. The the glory word for rich is now Richard. Boom. Shout out to Richard Hart, by the way. <laughs>